Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel on the seventh sky. Dear students, today our topic is division. So, you know what is a division? Yes, division is a method of distributing a groups of things into equal parts. And it is the sign of division. Dear students, look at here. We have six bananas and I want to divide between the two monkeys. Yes, Jojo and Jagu. Now you find how many bananas each one get. But remember it, when you are distributing the bananas between the monkeys, so the each one get equal number of bananas. So let's start the distributing. Yes. One bananas to Jojo and one get Jagu. One more banana Jojo get and here again one more bananas to Jagu. Yes, you know now you have six bananas and now you are distributing four bananas. Yes, Jojo get one more banana and Jagu get one more. So now you are distributing the six bananas between the two monkeys, Jojo and Jagu. Yes, you have total numbers of bananas, six. And you are divided between the two monkeys, Jojo and Jagu. Yes, here you find how many bananas each monkey get. So you know, three bananas each monkey get. Jojo has three bananas. And Jagu has three bananas. Dear students, it is the next example of division. Yes, you have 12 balloons. And now you want to divide between the three children. Now you find that how many balloons each child get. Yes, four balloons each child get. Yes, you give the four balloons to each child. It means... 4 is added 3 times. So you get the number 12. And you have total numbers of balloons. Very good. You have 12 balloons. And you want to divide between the 3 children. So that each child get the 4 balloons. Dear students, now we have some practice to division. And here the given question is, 10 divided by 2 is equal to what? I have 10 cupcakes. And... I am going to divide them between the two children, Bubbly and Moon. Yes, one by one you are giving the cupcakes to both child. But you remember it, the equal numbers of cupcakes are given to each child. Yes, I am giving the one cupcake to Bubbly and one cupcake to Moon. Again, I am giving the one more cupcake to Bubbly. And one more cupcake to moon. One by one, I am giving the cupcakes to both child. Yes. And now, you see that we have 10 cupcakes. And we are dividing the 10 cupcakes to both child. Now you find that how many cupcakes each child get. Count the cupcakes of bubbly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cupcakes. And now you count the cupcakes to moon 1 2 3 4 5 so now you see that you are dividing the 10 cupcakes between the two children and each child get the five cupcakes we got five cupcakes each so beta you see here we have 10 cupcakes and we divide these cupcakes between the bubbly and moon and you know very well that the each child get how many cupcakes? Very good. Five cupcakes. Dear students, remember it. Sometimes you have an amount that cannot be divided equally. I wonder what you can do then. I still have to be fair. So now you have a one little bit tricky question. Yes, it is not divided equally. So look at your question. 13 is divided by 2. So it means that 
you have 13 lollipops and you are dividing between a one boy and a one girl. So start giving the lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. Peter, now you are dividing the 12 lollipops between the two childs. And you know here only one is left over. Dear students, remember it. Yes, the groups must have equal amount in them. Yes, boy and girl. Both of the child got 6 lollipops. You know na, boy have 6 lollipops and the girl have 6 lollipops. Yes. You know, here one lollipop left over. So you know, how can we write this? Yes, 13 is divided by 2 is equal to 6. Because, why we write here 6? Because the each child got the 6 lollipops. And you know, here one is left over. Because 1 is not divided between the two childs. That is the reason here 1 is your reminder. Hello friends, I hope that you liked today's video, so don't forget to like or subscribe my channel. Thank you.